Hey, how's it going guys? Technotus here, and today we're going to have another shootout of the Samsung Galaxy S8 versus the iPhone X display. Now, some of you guys are already debating whether the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the iPhone X has a better display, and which company is providing all the manufacturing and design of each display. Well, I'm just going to clear things up today with you guys. So, with the iPhone X, they have designed the display, and Samsung is the manufacturer of the display. So, essentially, Apple has designed it made it the way it is and they given the design over to samsung's manufacturing warehouse and they pretty much produced whatever is on spec for the iphone now anyways moving over to the display talking about which display is better let's take a look here on DisplayMate. So DisplayMate is a very reputable company that does huge display tests on every single device. And here they say that the iPhone 10 does have the best display on the market right now. So I'm gonna be as unbiased as possible in this video. Although I do use the, both devices most of the time, but I do uh, favor over the iPhone just a little bit here. I do like the whole integration of how Apple works with their iCloud system and whatnot. But moving on, let's just talk about the nit. So comparing the iPhone has a lower nit rate than the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Note 8 that just came out. It has 1240 nits on the Samsung over here, whereas this one just has roughly about 600. So of course the numbers show a difference, however in real life and on test, you guys can see that there is a bigger difference here as on record. DisplayMate has says that the iPhone, the OLED display on the iPhone does make it brighter in the sunlight. It shows that 634 nits is the average of the iPhone 10. And as on paper, Samsung Galaxy, the Note 8 has 1240. However, when we're testing it, the Note 8 only produces 423. Now that's what manual brightness and automatic brightness would hit it up to 560, which isn't bad at all. However, the iPhone 10 actually produces up to 809 nits. Now you guys can argue how much you guys want, but that is the fact. And DisplayMate is very, very reputable for what all the tests they're doing. So anyways, let's just move on and I'll show you guys all the tests that I have preloaded on here. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to jump right into Safari and Samsung Internet right here. And I do have Yahoo loaded up on each. And you guys can see right here, the display looks beautiful on both devices. However, let's just check out if the Samsung Galaxy S8 does have the same outdoors uh, brightness that the Note 8 has. So let's just take this little brightness camera right here and we'll put it right over the lens of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Let's see how much brighter it gets. So you guys tell me in the description below how much brighter it's getting. Is it any better than the iPhone 10 is right now? I do see that both look fantastic and both brightness are actually at max right now. So we're at full brightness for the iPhone X, iPhone 10, and if you scroll down, we're on max brightness for this as well. So we're in automatic mode. So it should adjust according to the ambient light outside. We got the same picture loaded up and I'll just zoom in a little bit closer for you guys. So of course you guys can see the color difference is dramatic there. It seems a lot more richer on the Samsung Galaxy S8 over the iPhone. However, as most people already know, it just seems more natural on the iPhone 10 and it's very debatable what natural means to you guys but if you guys were taking pictures and all honesty I do look at the pictures compared side by side and the iPhone X iPhone 10 does look a little bit more natural than the iPhone or than the Samsung Galaxy S8 however I do like what this represents if you guys put an HD video or a quad HD video 4k right next to each other there's a big difference I actually prefer the videos on the s8 more than the iPhone 10 right now all right and moving on to the next test we are on amazon.com black Friday is listed up right here on the right side we have the iPhone 10 and the Samsung Galaxy s8 on the left side now we have the flashlight one more time we'll just raise it up right here as it seemed like the, the sun is shining down on them and let's see if any of them get brighter. So it doesn't seem like there's a noticeable difference at all. In my opinion, the Note 8 might be performing a little bit better because it's newer technology. The Samsung S8 doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, so I actually think that the iPhone 10 actually looks a little bit brighter in daylight than the Samsung Galaxy S8. But you guys can decide, drop me a comment below telling me what's up. Here, we'll move over to the next test, and this is going to be a better test of what it is directly, directly under the sunlight. All right, so for the next one, we're going to take these studio lights that I have behind me and shine it directly right on top of the two devices. And let's see which one actually comes out on top in brightness. So let's go turn it down the camera. All right, so we are on New York Times on both devices on the front page, and we have the sun shining directly down on it with the studio lights. And as you guys can see, I feel like the iPhone X actually comes out on top with brightness-wise. We even lift up the device, and we'll put it right in front of where it shines. 
And I'll give you guys a nicer look. So the color is definitely better reproduced on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Down to personal preference, which one you guys prefer. But I do think outside, the iPhone 10 actually comes out on top. All right, for the next test, we're going to be testing out the blue shift that's happening on almost all OLED displays. And most of us were complaining about the iPhone 10's display, the blue shift affecting us pretty badly. But let's see how well it actually does here. So we'll head back out to the home screen. And it seems like the S8 actually lost connection again. But... We're over here and as you can see we're back into the home screen and we'll flip it down and see the blue shift in effect on both devices. So on the home screen it doesn't seem like there's any effect whatsoever. Both devices are performing very well even under these extreme angles. We'll lift it up just a little bit more and both icons and both home screens are very visible in this case. But we'll launch up something white and that's where it gets a little bit more dramatic. So both devices are on its angle and from what I can see I think that the Samsung S8 is actually performing very poorly in this case. And the iPhone actually barely has any blue shift whatsoever. We'll tilt it up just a little bit more. And you guys can see up front here, both devices are very nice. But as soon as you tilt it over to the side, although the iPhone 10 does have a little bit of a blue shift, it's not that dramatic. So I'll pull it down one more time to show you guys that we are on full brightness. And the same goes for the S8 over here. And True Tone is turned off. And we'll just head over to a couple more things here. All right, and we'll just head into another app here. So we'll head into the TD app, which should be identical to each other on Android and iOS. And we'll tilt it over to every angle to see how well they change. So as you guys can see here, the front looks beautiful on both devices. Let's just tilt it over to the side a little bit here. The same goes to this angle as well. The iPhone 10 actually performs very well, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S8 starts to shift to blue very fast. So the same goes for the bottom and top. So here, I'll give you guys a better look, and we'll start tilting it. Of course, the iPhone 10 does have the same blue shift because this is an OLED display. There's no running away from that, but it's way more dramatic on the Samsung than it is on this. And this pretty much wraps it up for the showdown between these two devices. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys actually get something out of this. I got a lot of debate in the comments and a lot of my fans are actually messaging me on Twitter and Snapchat and whatnot asking me exactly which device is better in terms of display. And in this case, I think for the nits and brightness wise, the iPhone 10 actually takes it right here. But for display and quality and how the color reproduction is like, I think the Samsung Galaxy S8 is my preference. So again, in all honesty, it's up to you guys what your preference is, but I think in the end, both devices are fantastic devices and there's no doubt about it that they can perform very well for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button and don't forget about that bell button as well guys. Peace out.